Happy Holidays from the Autodesk Simulation Team. To celebrate, we're going to bust some myths about one of my favorite cartoons, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So there are a bunch of myths that we could look at, but only one of them really needs to use simulation. The first one that we're going to think about is Rudolph's nose can cut through any storm. Santa tells us this, but really, have you ever used light to cut through fog and have a lot of luck? I haven't, so I think that one's busted. Another one that I like, Bumble's Sink. You know what I'm talking about. Think about it, bumbles are bigger than people, and they're probably made up of about the same stuff. So if I float, I think a bumble does too. I'm saying that one's busted. Ooh, here's my favorite one, I think. Yukon Cornelius tastes his pickaxe when he's looking for silver and gold. It seems like a logical conclusion, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it turns out in the original version, he was actually mining for peppermint as well. And so that makes a little bit more sense why he's tasting his pickaxe. So that one? Busted. What else? How about Bumbles like pork more than venison? Here's a little reminder in case you don't remember. Alright, so I'm thinking any Bumble out there probably hasn't encountered a lot of pigs, so it's not really likely that he likes pork more than reindeer and venison. So, busted. Ooh, now here's another one that's a little bit tricky. Finding Rudolph isn't woman's work. Let's cut to the clip and find out. Mrs. Donner wanted to go along, actually. But Donner said, no, this is man's work. All right, so I think it's pretty clear that Mrs. Donner was probably all like, I'm hungry, let's stop looking. I don't need a GPS, I know how to get there without directions. And that's how they ended up in the Bumble Cave. So, I think this one proves that finding Rudolph, in fact, is not woman's work. This is a fact. And then one more. Santa can fatten up in 30 seconds or less. Busted. So what's the one that we're really going to use Autodesk Simulation to figure out? It's my personal favorite. Bumble's Bounce. You know, when Cornelius pushes Bumble off of the mountain, and we all think that he's dead, we're all real sad about it, and it turns out he comes back and he tells us, don't you know, Bumble's bounce. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to take a look at it uh, by designing it in Fusion 360, where we can start with a sketch, turn it into a little Bumble model, and then take it into Autodesk Simulation Mechanical and see him fall off the cliff and verify if, in fact, Bumbles do bounce. So let's take a look. Alright, we're going to start here in Fusion 360, and to begin, we're going to import our Bumble. So from here we can easily sketch around him and create our Bumble geometry, as well as put in our ice for him to stand on, as well as what he's going to fall on. So we're going to go ahead and export this, and then open it directly in Simulation Mechanical. Here in Simulation Mechanical, we're going to mesh the model first, and then define our material properties. With our ice already defined, we're going to put in special bumble material properties to represent uh, his skin and fur. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some boundary conditions. So we'll select the bottom of each of the pieces of ice and choose to make these fixed so that they can't move, so they're solid ground. And then we're going to go and add the pressure that's being applied to bumble by Yukon Cornelius when he tackles him over the cliff. So let's type in a 300, follow the displacement, and click OK. And now we can apply some contact between uh, Bumble and the ice, so it allows him to slide off, as well as uh, make contact when he falls onto the ice below. So this is what we're testing if he bounces off of. With that, we press press run, and here in the results we can see, in fact, after falling off the cliff, Bumble bounces right back up onto his feet. So if we watch that one more time, Bumble falls, bounces, and we see why Yukon Cornelius is safe. I think this proves that, in fact, Bumbles do bounce. Well, I hope you learned something about Rudolph today, and you can still enjoy it even though you know all of these myths that have now been busted. 
happy holidays, and see you again next year.